Hi Capricorn, welcome to your bonus read for the week. I'm going to be taking a look at the person on your mind and what they tell people about you. I'm going to pull three cards to start, clarify each card to give us some more insight and at the end of your reading, I'm going to pull three messages plus one bonus message from this person from the Hidden Truth Oracle deck and these are going to be things that you might want to hear, things you might not want to hear and answers to questions you possibly have. We will get that at the end. This is general. It may not resonate for everyone. If it does, go ahead and hit that like button if you haven't already subscribe to my channel so you never miss an upcoming read now with that being said we're going to go ahead and jump right in please remember that time is fluid so this could be something that happened in your past currently in your present or coming up in your future all right so person on capricorn's mind show me what they tell people about capricorn Ace of Pentacles, the devil, the magician comes out in a 50-50 energy, and then as well as the tower at the bottom of the deck, I see this person fearful, like they allow fear to get the best of them, like why even try because I'm not sure that I have what it takes to really make this happen, but I want it, you know, um, kind of situation. So who I don't know who they're talking to, if this is more of a self-talk to themselves, um, but it does feel like they tell someone like, yeah, I really like, you know, Capricorn. We have the Ace of Pentacles, like I said. So there's a beginning, there's a start here, right? There's this, this seed being planted. It's the beginning of a commitment. Is it going to last? There's something about, you know, things um, changing, maybe even feeling this temptation obsession towards you which is making them feel like they're losing control with that um, magician coming out in a 50 50 energy like they're losing their power to stay you know um wow so it's almost like this person feels you know whatever seed is planted here and how the attraction is growing between the two of you makes them feel that they're losing control and like of themselves and like what the heck am I doing I normally don't do these things for people or I don't think this way or whatever or um, compromise the tower is telling me that you know this person is going through a shakeup okay and the shakeup is like things you know being disrupted in their life changing and it's a drastic change but you know is it good is it bad is it just indifferent you know it just it feels like this person wants it, but they're scared. <laughs> so let's go ahead and clarify this Ace of Pentacles. All right, we have the Seven of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands, as well as the artist at the bottom of the deck. So the artist in this deck is going to be someone just like the magician. It's what you create. So the artist can create anything. And not only that, the artist does, you know, the magician can learn certain skills and everything and master them over time. The artist has a vision, holds that vision, and then actually, you know, puts that vision into the real, uh, into their reality. Um, so... With that Ace of Pentacles, it's clarified by the Seven of Pentacles, Ace of Wands here. You know, they want to take things slow. This person is like waiting to be intimate with you or passionate with you because they want to build something more. The artist is telling me that they want um, a deeper connection. They don't want it to be just like instant gratification. Are they attracted to you? Hell yeah, they're attracted to you, Capricorn. Like you're on this person's mind all the time. Um, but, you know, they're like, I just want to wait. And it's hard for this person because because they're very drawn to you. Um, waiting is making them making them even more attracted to you. Maybe you're the one that's telling them we need to wait. Um, and they're like, oh my God, I really want you. Um, but it just, it, it feels like they, they're trying to show you a respect here um, for you, for the situation, for themselves. Um, let's go ahead and clarify the devil. Yeah, they definitely have some worry here. Um, the way that they have this, I don't even want to call it obsession, but it does come off as an obsession. Um, this obsession over you, it makes them have anxiety and fear and worry and 
what if, you know, you don't feel the same way? What if I, you know, you don't, so it's like fear is taking over here. The moon at the bottom of the deck, and it seems like it's because of things that they don't know, things that are hidden at this time. They don't have all the answers, and so they have to trust in the unknown to see how things are going to go between the two of you. Um, but they worry about that, and they worry that you could be hiding something from them, and they don't want that because they're really getting, I feel like they're getting, I, I, I'm just going to say it, you know, they are obsessed in a sense of like they're really attaching themselves to you. Um <clears throat> I feel like this person really needs to talk to you about the things that they're worrying about and that will really take the edge off of, of, of things for them, ease their mind and they'll stop worrying like this and maybe they won't be so attached. Do you get what I'm saying? It's almost like they're clinging their energy to you a lot and holding on really tight without knowing where things are really going here. Um, and that makes them a little fearful. You know, do they have what it takes? Can I do this? Uh, they don't want to get things wrong. So let's go ahead and, and clarify the magician. I feel like they're, they're scared of being hurt just like anybody else. And we have the sun coming out, you know, trying to manifest happiness here. Oh, that's the other thing where they feel that there's, you have like this power over them they just can't stop thinking about you they have dreams about you they whatever you know they want to know what it is that you might be hiding from them and not knowing where things are going between the two of you has them worried that's also draining their energy um they're happy with you and they're trying to hold on to their energy they're usually someone who is is really really peppy or really really happy uh, very outgoing, um, likes to, you know, uh, go hiking or biking or whatever, you know, they're very active. I'm just going to say it like that. They like to be on the go. Um, but they have been lacking doing some of the things that they enjoy because they've been real worried about how things are going to go between the two of you. Um, See, it's like, I don't know. I don't want to say that they're obsessed and it's like really unhealthy, but it comes off unhealthy because of the fact that this person is not communicating like, hey, I need to know these things to put my mind at ease. It's almost like they're creating their own worries out of things that are not necessarily, you know, true or they don't know if they're true. So, you know, whatever it is that they're worried about, they need to... Um, talk to you about. So let's go ahead and get some messages. What is this person holding back from telling Capricorn? All right. First thing that comes out is going to be I hide behind material things. Material value is important to this person and they feel like without it, they can't make their partner happy. They're not happy. Life is just like, oh my God, horrible. Um, so materialism is a big thing, a big things, is a big thing to this person. Um, also, maybe it, it builds their confidence or makes them feel confident. So when they don't have something or like their financial situation is not going the way that they hope it's going or hoped it would go, um, that can really affect their mood. So just know that. And um, then also I regret lying to you. So there's something that they lied to you about. Okay. So that's also where worry is coming from. Um, maybe they were saying like, they're not a jealous person or that they're not codependent or something like that. Whatever it is that they lied to you about and kept the secret, they regret it and they wish they wouldn't have done that. Um, this is something they really need to talk to you about because that will clear up a lot of this energy of like, oh my God, I'm so worried that Capricorn is going to be upset or like, what if I lose them? Or like, am I acting too clingy? Or, you know, this person is worrying to the point that it's just like, oh my God, calm down. They haven't lost anything yet. It's just in their mind. Um, I wish I could share my good news with you. I feel like they want to spend every second with you. That's the obsession of like, I just want to be around you, but it's also draining their energy. They need to find, um, some time to, um, what am I looking for? Like downtime for themselves, um, to take care of like self care for them, take a bubble bath, watch a movie, whatever, you know, and relax, chill. Um, but 
I don't react when people mention you. So I feel like they try and keep things very private. Maybe they are a private person or, you know, things aren't um, really clarified as to what you two are. There's no label on it at this time. So they try not to react. They're just like, oh yeah, whatever. Or just you know, um, try not to say anything. And the connection that they feel to you, yeah, they feel like you have more control over this connection like your your energy dominates this connection versus their energy is how it comes off to them yeah I feel you even though we are apart so you know they feel like you're the one who's more of the masculine um even if you it doesn't matter if you're masculine or feminine feminine but like you give off a more masculine energy and um your like your energy dominates uh the relationship in some way or situationship it's not a bad thing because they like it but it also is a little intimidating but it's only because they're not asking you questions instead they're just feel f fearful and worried about things that haven't happened also something that they lied to you about so i'm really hoping that they bring that up and you two can discuss it or whatever um just kind of clear the air but that's completely up to you this is what i have for you capricorn if it resonates go ahead and hit that like button i will see you in your next reading coming up have a good rest of your day bye